Despite his slim chance of obtaining the Democratic nomination, 2016 presidential candidate Bernie Sanders is likely the U.S.'s best shot at ending federal cannabis prohibition anytime soon. Last week, the Vermont senator was at another gigantic rally in California, where he once again preached the harms of prohibition and mass incarceration, and the benefits of reform. In America today, we have more people in jail than any other country on earth. We have a criminal justice system that is broken and must be repaired. It is not acceptable to me that we are spending $80 billion a year locking up 2.2 million Americans. Now, there are communities in America where youth unemployment is 30, 40, 50 percent. Where kids are hanging out on street corners, and when that happens, kids get into trouble. Together, we are going to invest in our young people in jobs and education. not in jails and incarceration. I want this country, I want this country to have the best educated workforce in the world, not more people in jail. I want our young people doing constructive work, not rotting in a jail cell. Now, I'm a former mayor, and I have worked with police officers in my state and all over this country. Vast majority of police officers are honest, hardworking, and doing a very difficult job. But like any other public official, when a police officer breaks the law, that officer must be held accountable. We need to demilitarize local police departments. We need to make local the police departments look like the diversity of the communities they serve. We need to end private ownership of prisons and detention centers. We need to have a police culture which understands that lethal force, killing someone, is the last response, not the first response. We need to rethink the so-called war on drugs. Right now, under the Federal Controlled Substance Act, marijuana is listed as a Schedule I drug. Together, we're going to take marijuana out of the Federal Controlled Substance Act. Over the last 30 years, millions of Americans have received police records for possession of marijuana. And that is why, if I were a citizen of California, I would vote to legalize marijuana. But when we talk about drugs, let us be clear that all over this country we have a major crisis in terms of opiate and heroin addiction. We are losing people every single day from overdosing. In my view, to effectively address this national crisis, 
We need to understand that addiction and substance abuse abuse should be treated as a health issue, not a criminal issue. And that means, that means, that means, And that means that we need a revolution in the way we do mental health in America. Mental health treatment must be available to people when they need it, not six months from now. But if we stand together, brothers and sisters, there is nothing we cannot accomplish.